cheer up, my lads, tis to glory be steer. To add something more to this wonderful year, to honor we call you as free men, not slaves. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Dogger Bank, located in Dogger Bank North Sea, and involving elements of the British Royal Navy and the German Imperial Navy on the 24th of January, 1915. Reeling from the attack on Scarborough, Hartlepool, and Whitby, the Royal Navy was eager to give the Germans a loss and make them pay for shelling the English villages. Meanwhile, German Admiral Franz Hipper was just hoping to make their escape home. Unfortunately for Hipper, the British ships were much quicker than the damaged German armored cruiser Blücher and began catching the slower German squadron. The British first battle squadron was the fastest had ended up leaving behind the second British battle squadron. Royal Admiral David Beatty commanded them to continue their pursuit. As the British ships caught up, they approached the German ships from the rear and to the right. Beatty ordered this approach so the German smokestacks powering the ships would belch smoke that would provide visual cover for the British against any German return fire. This was successful as the British fleet finally got within gun range and from 8.52 a.m. until 9.11 a.m. on the morning of the 24th were able to open fire on the German ships without the Germans being able to see them or return fire. The British concentrated fire first on the satellites. A German battlecruiser who was in the lead was also Hipper's personal battlecruiser. Additional elements of the British fleet fired on the German cruiser Blücher who was in the rear. The satellites received the brunt of the hits and at 9.43 am found its forward turret was penetrated by an English shell, detonating the ammunition and starting to fire inside the ship. The ammunition cooked off under the rear turrets and both of them blew apart. The the only reason the ship itself didn't sink was quick thinking by the officers. The firing continued until 10.18 a.m. when the German ship Der Flinger hit the HMS Lion, damaging the British ship's engine and flooding her. This caused the Lion to be no longer part of the fight. While this happened, the blue crew was hit by several shells itself and another ammunition fire and damage to the boiler room forced the blue crew to lag behind even more. Admiral Hipper realized they were almost out of ammo and ordered his ships to abandon the Blucher and head for the safety of home. Admiral Beatty, however, was scared of the possibility of mines or submarines that might be waiting for them and did not pursue Hipper. Instead, the British Navy churned and concentrated on the Blucher and sunk it. Casualties were moderate for the size of the fleets. The British suffered 47 killed or wounded with one battlecruiser and one destroyer disabled. The Germans lost more with 1,034 killed and wounded, another 189 captured, one armored cruiser sunk and one battle cruiser damaged. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.